I'm Stephen Ben Danun with Israeli News Live. There is breaking news coming out of Israel. There are 13 Israeli soldiers that lost their life in the battle uh, today in Israel. It is said that uh, Hamas claims that they had lured the Israeli uh, special elite forces into a trap uh, where the soldiers were cornered, and in the battle that ensued, 13 of them lost their lives. Many of the soldiers are wounded, some of those critically, and, uh, and the war just continues to, to spiral uh, into a very serious situation. Wolf Blitzer sat down with uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in the interview uh, that he had with him earlier today. Let's take a look at this. Just imagine, I mean, imagine uh, what Israel is going through. Imagine that 75% uh, of the U.S. population is under rocket fire and they have to be um, in bomb shelters within 60 to 90 seconds. So I'm not just talking about New York, New York, Washington, uh, Chicago, Detroit, San Francisco, uh, Miami, you name it. Uh, that's impossible. You can't live like that. So I, I think we have to bring back, restore back uh, a, a reasonable, sustained quiet and security. Uh, and we'll take whatever action is necessary Does, to achieve that. But, but that includes possibly reoccupying Gaza? Because you, you, a lot of your military planners are afraid of a, what they would call a quagmire, a dangerous quagmire. No, no, nobody wants to, uh, to go to excessive military lengths, but what is happening here is excessive. Uh, they're not only targeting our cities, they're deliberately firing thousands of rockets. We've already fired 2,000 rockets in the last few days on our cities. You can imagine this. Um, it's not only that. And they wanted to kill as many of our six million uh, Israelis who are targeted as they could. Uh, they haven't succeeded, not for lack of targets, because we've developed with American help, and I appreciate the help that President Obama and the U.S. Congress have given us to develop these Iron Dome fantastic systems. But some of the missiles perforate and they hit our schools. So we have to stop that. But in addition to the rockets, they've got now terror tunnels that they build in Palestinian homes uh, in Gaza, they penetrate underground into Israeli territory. Terrorists pop up there, try to murder civilians, kidnap uh, Israelis, as they did with Gilad Shalit. So we're taking action right now to neutralize those tunnels, you, and we'll continue the action as long as is necessary. You see these painful pictures, though, these Palestinian children uh, and these refugees, thousands of them fleeing their homes. It's a horrendous sight what's going on right now. If you look at the, at the images, heart-wrenching. What goes through your mind when you see that? I'm very sad. When I see that, I'm very sad. We're sad for every civilian casualty. They're not intended. Uh, th th this is the difference between us. The, the Hamas deliberately targets civilians and deliberately hides behind civilians. They embed their rocketeers, their rocket caches, their, uh, their other weaponry uh, from where, which, they fire, uh, which they use to fire on us in civilian areas. What choice do we have? We have to protect ourselves. We try to target the rocketeers. We do. And all civilian casualties are unintended by us, but actually intended by Hamas. They want to pile up as many uh, civilian dead as they can because somebody said they use, I mean, it's gruesome, they use telegenically dead Palestinians for their cause. They want the more dead, the better. The argument that your critics make is that you're overreacting right now, overkilling. Well, look, I, I want to say this. I, I mean, there are very few examples in history of countries that have been rocketed on this scale. Uh, if you look at our response, it's actually very measured and trying to be as pinpointed as we can. But I think when people say that, I, I appreciate the support we've received from President Obama and many world leaders for Israel's right to self-defense. I realize Wolf Blitzer, even though he may be Jewish by birth and everything, his, uh, his own network, uh, Turner Network there for CNN News, uh, certainly has him under the gun to, to pressure the Prime Minister in answering certain questions. And it was very nice to see that the Prime Minister put those questions into perspective because there's so much of the world that focuses the attention on the casualties of the innocent civilians that are in, that are in this particular campaign in Gaza, especially that of children. It is horrendous sights to see the, the children that have lost their lives in, in Gaza as well. But as the Prime Minister puts it, it is Hamas's responsibility because they are using their own civilians as human shields. And they are wanting to use those uh, civilians, the death toll to rise, to be able to get a worldwide outcry. 
And as he says, it is truly Hamas's responsibility. Also, the prime minister pointed out that if the United States had 2,000 rockets fired upon its civilian cities, the citizens of America would be crying out to obliterate the, the enemy that is doing that, and rightfully so. But yet Israel is not asking to obliterate Gaza over the 2,000 rockets that have been fired into Israel, but only to take out those that are responsible and restore peace and order. Yet, totally different when it comes to someone else, or any other country for that matter, in any part of the world. Let France, who seems to hate the Jews without with a true passion, let people rain 2,000 rockets down in on their city. Iron Dome or no Iron Dome, believe me, they would retaliate, and they would retaliate with tremendous hatred. I'm Stephen Ben Danun with Israeli News Live.